points A, minus 5, minus 1, B, 5, minus 6, Q, 4, 2, and D, minus 2, 5, form a quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. Calculate the gradients of the lines AB, BC, CD, DA. B, which two lines are parallel, what did you notice about the gradients? Which lines are perpendicular, what do you notice about their gradients? And what's the name of the quadrilateral form by A, B, C, D? Okay, so drawing a diagram. So this time I'm just going to draw the diagram straight away without blocking the points. We see we get a quadrilateral here. It's always if you can draw a diagram, it's easier to actually see what's going on. So we're asked to calculate the gradient of each line. So we're going to calculate the gradient of this line here. So labeling up the points and using this formula. So x1, y1, x2, y2, so it's going to be minus 6, minus minus 1, 5, minus minus 5. Again, be careful with those negative numbers. So minus 6, minus minus 1 gives me minus 5, and 5 minus minus 5 gives me 10, so that cancels down to minus 1 half. So what that means for every two squares along, I go one down. Every two along, go one down. Right, now we're going to do B, C, so we're going to relabel them. So this is X2, Y2, X1, Y1. So we're going to have 2 minus minus 6, and that divided by 4 minus 5. So that's going to give me 8 divided by minus 1, which gives me a gradient of minus 8. So what that's saying is for every one along, I'm going to go down 8. Gradient of CD, again relabeling, x2, y2, x1, y2. So we're going to have 5 minus 2. So make sure you select the right coordinate. Minus 2, minus 4. And that's going to give me 3 for the top, and then minus 2 minus 4 gives me minus 6, so that gives me minus a half. Doesn't matter where we put the half on the fraction if we've only got one of them. And then for the last one, which is MDA, this line here, so relabeling them x1, y1, and then going back to label this x2, y2, we're going to get minus 1, take away 5, minus 1 take away 5, minus 5, minus 1 is 2. So you have to be very careful with negative signs. Minus 5, take away 1, so you've got my, uh, you have minus 1, you go back 5, you get to minus 6. Minus 5, minus minus 2 gives you minus 3, because it's like minus 5 plus 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so we just get 2 as the answer, 6 divided by 3. Right, so now we're going to answer the question, which two are parallel, which are perpendicular, and what's the name of the quadrilateral. So we're just going to here again. So here's all, here is the, the, graph, the, the graph again. Here is a summary of what we just found. Right, lines A, B, and C, D are parallel. Why? Because if you look at their gradients, they are the same, minus a half. Parallel lines then have the same gradient is the main bit of theory here. So if you have two gradients which are the same, two lines are parallel. Parallel means they don't get further apart or closer together. Lines A, B and D, E are perpendicular. So what we're saying is this line here and this line here is perpendicular. Also, this line here is also perpendicular to this one. Now, what is the condition for perpendicular lines? If you did MAB times DA, so that's taking that one and that one and multiply them together, you get a minus a half times two, which is minus one. Also, if you did the other two, MCD, MCD and MDA, you get minus a half times two, which is minus one. So for two lines to be perpendicular, then what you have to show is the product, the multiplication of their gradients is equal to minus 1. Right, and as the quadrilateral has just two parallel lines, 
then A, B, C, D is a trapezium. It cannot be any other one because only one is perpendicular, the other line is not perpendicular. It cannot be a parallelogram, otherwise these two lines would be the same as well. So therefore the only thing it can be is a trapezium. Okay, so this has been a video to show you about parallel and perpendicular lines using gradients.